As the California Legislative Latino Caucus commemorates its 50th year anniversary, I rise to honor the memory of Gloria Molina, the first Latina elected to our legislature and who so diligently served in our California State Assembly. She was a fearless public servant whose life's work inspired a generation. Gloria passed from cancer in her home surrounded by family on May 14th of this year. Gloria was unapologetic in her fight for the rights of marginalized communities across our state. She broke barrier after barrier for generation of Latinas, opening doors that enabled us to reach the stars. Born in 1948 to a working class immigrant, Mexican uh, American parents, Gloria rose to become the first Latina member of the State Assembly, the first Latina on the Los Angeles City Council, the first Latina on the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors. She was unapologetically Chicana. Hers is an incredible story of overcoming all odds, one that not only tells the tale of women who grew bold enough to advance her own life and career, but one of self-actualization. Gloria Molina dedicated her life to uplifting everybody in her community. Gloria was an alumni of Rio Hondo College, East Los Angeles College, and Cal State LA, during which she worked full-time as a legal secretary, grounding herself in a lifetime of advocacy. As a young Chicana student activist in college, she challenged the men in the Chicano movement to make space and allow for more women's voices to be heard and to lead. When she was told that it was not her turn to run for office, she did so anyway and she won. She fearlessly confronted male politicians who held disdain for her refusal to conform or remain silent. She and one of her closest friends, Antonia Hernandez, were young women when they fought and advocated for immigrant Latina Mexican women who were unknowingly sterilized without consent at LA County General Hospital in the late 1960s to early 1970s because of a doctor following California's horrific eugenics practices thought them to be unworthy and had a bias that those immigrant women had too many children. He made a decision on their bodies that was not his to make. She fought for those women in this legislative body, and 55 years later, this body continues to fight for them by acknowledging that atrocity and creating the forced sterilization compensation program. I am grateful for the support of the members of this body and all the work that we have done to make that a reality. And I know that she was proud that that fight continue to undo such an egregious injustice. Gloria fought to expand women's health care. With the mothers of East Los Angeles, she fought against a prison expansion in East LA. She fought for representation, and she fought to ensure East LA and Eastside communities had access to resources, parks, libraries, and beautiful communal spaces to gather, like the East LA Civic Center, and in downtown Los Angeles, what we know now as Grand Park, which will be named after her. I have, for the majority of my life, been represented by Gloria Molina in one way or another. And it's my most distinct honor to represent her, her home, her family, to continue her legacy and that of so many Molinistas across our great city and county of Los Angeles. She was an icon in the feminist movement a role model for Chicanas and Chicanos, a champion for the immigrant community. For each of her 32 years in public service, she faithfully fulfilled her mission to her constituents, fearlessly maneuvering through the corridors of power in California, in the city, and in the county of Los Angeles. We honor today the life and legacy of one of LA's brightest stars. Gloria is survived by her husband, Ron Martinez, her daughter, Valentina, her grandson, Santiago, siblings, Gracie, Irma, Domingo, Bertha, Mario, Sergio, Danny, Olga, and Lisa. I asked that you join me today in adjourning in the memory of our friend, our remarkable public servant and leader, our Chicana Latina hero, our assemblywoman, 
our Los Angeles City Councilwoman, and our Los Angeles County Board of Supervisor, Gloria Molina. May she rest in power. And we are joined today by her family here in the gallery. Thank you. Here on the floor. On behalf of myself, Senator Durazo, the Latina Legislative Caucus, all of the assembly members and senators, we would like to present uh, Gloria Molina's family, who's joining us in chambers today uh, with this resolution in memoriam of all of her life and her legacy. And members, the photo that we have here is her assembly photo from 1982 that will be displayed in the rotunda in her memory. Please help me welcome her family. Thank you, Ms. Carrillo.